All right, boys and girls, I'm making my favorite breakfast, rice with omelet, Mexican style though. So this actually went way smoother than I thought it would because I'm using new cooking implements, new to me. Uh, tomorrow I'll show you the whole process, but I'm gonna wrap this up, take it on the roof, and share my observations so far of Mexico City. Pro tip, folks, do your dishes before you eat. Try it and you will thank me. Believe that. Obviously, I can't wash this stuff till I eat out of it, but if you plan it right, your food will still be hot, and you're gonna have a much better lasting effect of enjoying your meal without having to deal with a bunch of dishes afterwards. It is nice and sunny. Get up here on the roof and tell you guys what I think so far of Mexico City, what I've observed. So what have I observed so far about Mexico City? Everybody has tattoos, that's interesting. Seriously, like everybody has tattoos. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Saturday night, they like to sing all night. Man, it's loud too. I'll record it for you sometime. There's this drunk guy. <laughs> I haven't heard him lately, but I'd hear him crushing cans every night in the middle of the night when I first got here. I haven't heard him lately. Sometimes I'll hear him yell drunkenly. So basically just like Texas in that regard. Mountain, mountains. I really like it here, guys. Nothing bad to say, really. I mean, yeah, I get annoyed a little bit with, uh, with the guy when he's loud in the middle of the night, but people are super friendly. And my Spanish seems to be doing okay. My friend Omar, he said, man, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about classes. He said, just keep doing what you're doing in a few months you're gonna be well enough. And I don't really care about learning technical proficiency as far as, I mean, it'd be nice to have at least decent grammar so I just don't look like a fool, but I don't need to know like all this proper stuff and how to write it. I'm not trying to write a book in Spanish or anything. And classes are very expensive here. Here's an interesting observation. People have always tried to convince me that there's such thing as a chihuahua that's very chill. Never met one in 45 years of life. Known several people with chihuahuas, but they were all nervous little wrecks. And it's hilarious because that's the reason I left the USA and came to Mexico is because of the COVID freak out, largely because of the COVID freak out going on in the US. And people are just like timid little things that are okay with giving away everything and having all these rules and whatever. I'm fine with wearing a mask. I'm fine with making the people around me comfortable. Whether I believe it's a huge risk to me or not, I'm fine with that. But when you start limiting the things that with travel and things that are going on there, that's not my cup of tea. And it's funny that the chihuahuas <laughs> are kind of reflect, reflective of the culture to some regard. The chihuahuas I knew in the US are nervous little wrecks. I come here most of the chihuahuas I see are totally chill, man. They're just laying on the sidewalk and they just look up at me. Orale! When I go by, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's awesome. So that's a very interesting observation. I'm sure I'll think of more, but we're going to cut it there, guys. I'm going to show you how to make this tomorrow. And I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful mountainscape and sun. I'll see you in the next video.